Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm back again. <laughs> this is getting to be uh, too, too common. I disappear for weeks on end and everybody probably forgets who the heck I am. Anyway, if you're new here, welcome. My name's Karen and this is Karen So Slowly. I hope you enjoy what you're seeing. Consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up. Click the notification bell. I said that right. Then you'll get notified when I upload a vlog. So this is the second recording of this vlog because I've been away for about three or four weeks now and I just, I've got to get a vlog done. But I had so much to tell everybody that I recorded a vlog. It's now Thursday. I think I recorded a vlog on Sunday and I literally talked for an hour, over an hour. It was an hour and so many minutes. And I thought, well, even taking out the ums and oohs, which I always have to do, there's always a couple of minutes, it's still an hour. Nobody wants to sit and listen to me blither on for an hour. Excuse me while I have a slip of tea. Can I just show you this beautiful mug? I've just been given this by my friend. Um, two things I, I love most in the world, obviously apart from my boys. <laughs> um, sewing and butterflies. Isn't that gorgeous? So I thought, yeah, I can put that one on my vlog, unlike the profanity mug that I've got that I bought myself. Hmm. Oh, that's lovely. Just nice. Yeah, so I recorded a vlog on Sunday, an hour long. I thought this is ridiculous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop it into 10, 15 minute vlogs because there is so much happened and so much to tell you. Not a lot of sewing, to be fair, but it's sewing related. First of all, the reason I've been away for so long is I've had quite a few weeks of feeling pretty rubbish. Nearly, nearly swore. Um, yeah, pretty rubbish over the last few weeks. Um, the the last time I think I was on, I had had a steroid day, so I was feeling pretty chipper. Um, and it swiftly went downhill from there. And I had days where I could hardly breathe when I'd gone up the stairs and... Anyway, turns out they found something on the bottom of my lungs caused by the chemo. Wasn't another cancer, thankfully, but it was caused by the chemo and there were glass shards, it wasn't glass shards, it was something else, glass strands or something like that. And it's, if you Google it, it comes up and it's all to do with damage to your lungs, which is why I couldn't breathe. So that was a bit of a, a relief because I did think it was my heart because chemo affects my heart. And I'm on heart pills and have regular heart echoes and they'd all been fine. So I was thinking, well, this, this must be my heart because I kind of breathe and I'm, you know, I'm worn out, totally worn out. And I mean, to the point where if I wanted a drink and nobody was in the house, I just wasn't getting out of the chair. I felt about 98. I really did. And 98 on a bad day, not even 98 on a good day. So, yeah, so there was that. Um... Anyway, they reduced my next chemo by 25%. The, uh, in the interim of that week of feeling quite rubbish, um, I have a varicose vein, who I named Verity. Um, she's been with me for over 25 years. And Verity, on my birthday, 3rd of February, decided to kick off and swell up and go red and hot and itchy and very, very painful. So that was the Saturday and by the Wednesday, well, by the Tuesday night, she was in a bit of a state and so was I and I was starting to worry about it. I consulted Dr. Google, came up with phlebitis, thrombophlebitis. Uh, it's just that. We'll see what happens. And it says that corrects itself eventually. But my hubby went on to Dr. Google and immediately found DVTs. So he started panicking and said, you better go to a and &E tomorrow. So I spent about seven hours on the Wednesday in A&E &E, um, and the upshot was they'd put me on blood thinning injections, which I do myself. So I'm on those for six weeks. So when we found out, I went back and had another CT scan and these glass shards or whatever they're called had gone hollow and, and sort of dissipated a bit, like it just over a week in a week's difference. Um, my uh, lovely doctor, Dr. Nicola Cresti, had said that, um, he said, I, I think it's been, you know, I, I 
think they've been, instead of being what we thought, I think they've been more like clots, which worried me slightly because I'm sure clots on your lungs aren't a good thing. Um, but he says you can see they've dispersed, they've, they've, they're not as bad as they were. And there's such a difference in just a week that he was prepared to go ahead with my chemo next week, which he had put on hold. And I did ask if my blood thinning injections might have had something to do with it and he said yes quite probably we may keep you on then so there's something else i'm going to be doing um for the foreseeable but you know if it keeps the wolf from the door i am not bothered i will stab myself quite freely as many times as i need um without uh without worry if it's if it's going to keep me blood right and it's going to keep me here so that's chemo update done. Um, so it's chemo again next week. And again, I'll be getting 25% less. And I'm on my blood thinning injections. So we're gonna be we're gonna be good. This cycle, we're gonna be good. We're not gonna have any hiccups or visits to A and E. I'm uh, I'm quite determined about that. I'm just gonna angle this a little bit more because I look like I'm peeping over the top. Um, so what have I sold? Well, to be fair, not a great deal. Before I sort of felt really pants, I, I did manage to finish my uh, Stella hoodie from the Tilly and the Button stretch book. And this is it here. I think I showed the fabric I was going to use in one of my vlogs. And it was this lovely from Pan Fabrics, a uh, lovely um, fleece back jersey quite thin so it'd be like a summer hoodie and I thought the colours are more summery and everything so uh, I did cuffs and I lined the hood I don't know if you can see that let's lift you up a bit so I lined the hood in a sort of a matching fabric and I have done the buttonholes there to put the cord round and I've bought the cord I just haven't got around to putting it in yet but that's a little a little job to do so that's what I've managed to sew and I'll try and get a picture and uh and pop a picture in um so that was it really and I think the last time I was on I'd managed to sew excuse me a minute oh my mouse bloomers at my sewing social Four hours of sewing and I've sold mouse bloomers, yeah. Well, four hours of sewing and this time at the sewing social on Sunday, just gone. Half a little top, which sort of goes together like that. And that's one sleeve. That's the neckline and then that's the other sleeve. And then I've got a channel here to put the elastic through so nearly finished a top so this was it was it was even worse than not completing a set of bloomers i got there my bobbin tension was wrong so it was screwing all the thread up so i had to sort that out and then i just re-threaded another bobbin and i must have been using an odd bobbin that i had that didn't fit the machine or something but yeah it, it all went horribly wrong so i've been about an hour and a half sitting chatting and, and trying to figure like thread me machine and everything and i hadn't even started the top by that point so it wasn't quite four hours of sewing produced that it was more like two and a half hours of sewing produced that what is of a top here so that's that is the only sewing that i've done just recently in the last couple of days i have started again because I think I told you that I'd cut out the, how is it, the indigo? I get these tops mixed up, you know. Yeah, the indigo top. Everybody makes these. Everybody loves them. I bought the pattern, never made one. And I love Tilly and the Buttons patterns. So I thought, yeah, let's go for it. So I'm just trying to find... Um, where I'm up to. So I have made it in this material, which was from Beyond the Pink Door. I've got the bottom half of the skirt of the top attached to the bodice. 
um, and I'm showing you the back actually because that's the way around it goes and I sort of half-heartedly cut out this fabric I'm not mild, wildly keen on it so I yeah I cut it out put the pieces put it in a project bag and put it to one side I made the Stella hoodie I did the mouse and I was sort of putting it off and putting it off because of the fabric. Anyway, part of one of my other vlogs I'm going to do is my new sewing machine. And I received my new sewing machine and thought, you know, I'm going to sew that indigo on my new sewing machine. Because why not just get on and use it and learn to use it while I'm sewing something? So half-heartedly again, picked up the gist of my machine. Yes, knew what I was doing with it. So the stay stitching round the neck, round the back of the neck, and something was wrong. It looked like the tension was all wrong. Now this machine sets the tension for you, so I was a bit like, uh, what's gone wrong here? And basically I hadn't engaged the IDT or the built-in walking foot. And when I did that, it worked. But I got so frustrated and I was so, like I say, doing it so half-heartedly that once I'd just made a mess and unpicked it and then it made a mess again, I thought, stuff it. Put it all back in the project, shoved it back in the project bag in a right temper and put it to one side and thought, ah. And you'll get the full story of that and why I didn't continue sewing it and, and why when I do my, this is my new machine vlog, because I'll, I'll explain why I didn't continue sewing and go on to sew something else. So that's a little bit of the bit of sewing I've done. That's my chemo updated. And I think we'll probably, I, th I think I'll leave it there for now. I've got uh, some vlogs coming up. Like I say, I've got a new machine. I want to show you all that. Uh, I've got a new overlocker. I want to show you all that and explain why I bought a new overlocker. And I have a bit of a fabric haul here and yeah, I squashed this all into a vlog on Sunday, like I say, and it was over an hour long. And I thought, you know, poor people, come on. So uh, plans for the coming week. I want to finish this, uh, certainly before I have my chemo next Thursday. I want to finish this indigo and, and see what I think. Um, I'm using it as a twirl and it's like a sort of a practice run. And if I like it when I try it on and it fits good and everything like that, then I've got loads of fabric that I could make another one out of. But, you know, I might actually like it when I get it on. There's quite a lot of times I've made stuff out of fabric. Haven't liked it as a piece of fabric, but I've loved it made up as a garment. So fingers crossed that that's what's going to happen here. Anyway, like I say, thank you for listening hope you join me on my next vlog you'll probably see these vlogs come out in quick succession i'm going to record the next one now <laughs> and then another one and then another one so um hopefully i'll get them uploaded all at the same time and you can pick and choose which ones you watch but this is definitely one of three parts at the moment anyway and uh, i'll catch you all again in my next vlog when i've hopefully got my next weekly vlog when I've hopefully got the indigo finished. Leave a comment below if you've got anything you want to ask, anything you want to say, anything you want to comment on. Love to chat. And I hope you're all doing fabulously well, feeling fit and healthy and you're enjoying whatever weather you're having where you're having it. It's been quite a pleasant day here in the northeast but yeah not always like that obviously and uh, I'll catch you all soon. Take care. Bye.